what's going on welcome back to my let's play of uh, pillars of eternity so uh right now we're in the black meadow uh the in between last episode and this one i went through and cleared out a bunch of my shit in my inventory i'm sitting at uh 5200 almost 5300 gold or copper i think is that what they yeah they use copper in this um but i think i figured before heading to uh Kaidenua, that I would actually talk to some of my companions because I haven't gotten to do that yet. Okay. So let's start with Adair. What's on your mind? Uh, what is it you want to ask, ask this watcher in Cade Nua? Uh, just some things about the past, about the war. I've been thinking I missed my chance to find out what I wanted to know. That old watcher, though, he opens up some new possibilities. Uh, I was wondering about Aethys. It makes two of us. What is there to know about Aethys? If you're looking to find religion, maybe you want to start with a god that hasn't been burned to dust, but... I won't stop you. Fair enough. Aethys, he was a young man with a silver crown. Carried a candle around with him. <laughs> Sounds like I'm giving a bad eulogy here. <laughs> he was, well, he was a lot of things to different people, I guess. Rebirth, redemption, light. Out in the country, he's gone. The farmer, who helps all things pass. Seasons and people both. He watches over the week, does gone. Season balance is made right. You can see why all the copperless rowdies <coughs> excuse me, around here might take a liking to something like that. Someone like that. He was real popular here for a time. These days you won't find too many worshipping Aethys in the open. It's hard to know who still does it in private and who's given up. Feels like I'm the last one sometimes. He smirks. If that's the case, he deserves all the mourning. Do you still worship him? In my way. I don't suppose he expects me to show up at his temple these days. Not much left to do for him other than keep his memory alive and... Keep hoping that he's just been playing a joke on all of us these past 15 years. As far as I know, he hasn't said anything to anybody since the God Hammer detonated. Why worship him then? He grimaces. Well, if it turns out he's not dead, and I gave up on him, I'd have betrayed my God twice. Even the God of Redemption's gotta have standards. I'd probably be reborn as a fat Amalaz horse. It's not really it, though. Not all of it, anyway. He casts a sidelong glance. I guess it's more I still believe in the things he believed in. I just hope his death doesn't mean the death of those things as well. Sometimes it looks that way. Why'd you choose to worship Aethys in the beginning? Raised that way. My family's been Aethasian going way back. I suppose it wasn't much of a choice at first. Don't know for sure why my family started worshiping him. Probably because of gone looking after folks like us. Makes sense. He looks you in the eye. Conspiratorial? Could just a well been that my ancestor did something so bad only if this could forgive. It explained a lot about where I got some of my less respectable traits. Uh, did you only worship him because that's how you were raised? Mm mm. There was something I genuinely liked about Aethys. Always. Like he understood people better than the other gods. Knew all our flaws and weaknesses and accepted us for that. Folks are at their worst when they're afraid. A god like Aethys, he made you realize there was nothing to fear. Made you a better person. Of course, he goes away for a few years, and look what happens. What made you think, uh, Wadewin didn't speak for Aethys? Was his actions. I mean, not when he started his rebellion, and not even when he took over Raed Saris. It was when he sent his armies into Deerwood. Up to that point, he was sticking up for his people. That's what Aethys does. At least the gone part of him. Those farmers are starving and their government didn't lift a finger. I figured if it wasn't Aethys himself, at least he had the right idea. Then he sent armies across the border. He even crossed it himself in the end. Word was, he was chasing refugees that escaped the rebellion, wanted to punish them and punish us for allowing them to live here. That, that just didn't fit for me. Those are the deeds of a vengeful god, Skein or, or Wodica maybe. Or just a man who'd lost his sense. I still have trouble believing it, but there's no one left to ask if it's true. Tell me about the purges. You sure you don't want to talk about something more pleasant? Like the War of Black Trees or the Legacy or something? It's eye-opening, seeing just how naked you are when you've got no god to protect you. The Saints War was a hard time to be a deer wooden. People thought it was the end times. They talked big about how we were going to defeat a god, but I don't think there was a man from here to the White March that didn't think he was going to die. It does something to you, thinking you're going to die at someone else's hands. There's a rage that comes. Indignation. Imagine a whole country full of that. Might have been corn mold, cold morn that started it, town near the border. They let Wadewin march right on through. The rest of Deerwood cursed their name till the end of the war. Some say it was Aethasians there that persuaded the town not to oppose the army. Others said it was just cowardice. It was like the legacy that way. 
No one knew the real reason, so they just picked whichever one best suited what they wanted to believe. Either way, that town was burning before the first ashes of Aeothus hit the ground, and it felt good to the people here to be in control after being so helpless, so the fire spread. A lot of us Aeothasians went the way of our god. There were claims from the church of Magrin that she'd actually commanded the purges. I found that hard to believe. It sounded to me like people doing what they wanted, wrapping their gods around it like she was a cloak. Then again, that's what I thought about Wadewin. Uh, I want to ask you about something What's else. on your mind? Uh, something about you. Uh, do you have any family? Uh, just my parents now. They took a ship back to Deer when the purges started. Wanted me to go with them, but I didn't see things like they did. It's been a long time since I've seen them. I really should visit, but for some reason I haven't felt much like leaving home. Good thing they chased me out or I might never have left. Why'd you stay so long? Stay for so long in a town that hated you? I'm sure my parents are still wondering the same thing. The Aeothasian purges were like this madness had come over the town, like a disease. Seems like when you see something like that, your instinct is to wait for it to pass, even when you know it probably won't. The family whose farm I worked on, they had a little hollowborn girl. And they heard the Animancers had this cure, the salvation it was called. They went running. This salvation, they were putting animal souls in children. You might have heard about it. Giving them enough personality to care for themselves. You can guess how that turned out. Matter of time, the children broke down. Became wild things. Monsters. Anyway, these farmers put the family dog's soul in their little girl. For a while, the girl, she's making eye contact. She's feeding herself, albeit in a kind of messy way. And one day, she snaps. They found her gnawing on her brother's bones. Had to chain her up, put her in a cow pen. Jesus. Well, the mother, she wouldn't have anything to do with the girl after that. But the father, he'd visit every day, feed her chickens, toss water on her once in a while to get the dirt off. Most of the village, they'd whisper about him. Poor man, they'd say, sick with grief. And he was just waiting for his daughter to look up one day and recognize her papa. He was waiting for her to get better. Didn't understand that at the time, of course, but these days I think about him a lot. Did the people of Guild Vale really try to kill you? They, uh, <laughs> they did. It was strange timing, because we just won the war. They celebrated when I came home. There was music and dancing. And Trumbull used half his grain making this big honey cake. I still dream about that cake. Like having the best lover of your life, but only for one night. And they were all sorry to hear about my brother. It took a while for word of the purges to reach us. Aethasians being murdered in the streets. Cold morn and the like. No way would they let something like that happen in Gilded Vale. That's what they all said. But the weeks went by and the purges spread. Pretty soon they weren't so sure my brother fought for Deerwood. And they weren't so sure I did. Caught me by surprise after all the celebrating. <laughs> Should have seen it coming after the tailor said he was going to fit me for some new clothes, <laughs> but then all he wanted was my neck measurement. Uh, really? Nah, not that last part. But you had to think about it. Says a lot about the place I've been calling home all these years. What'd you do before this? Oh, other than the war, I never strayed too far from where you found me. Farming, mostly. I was never much for cities. Never learned to trade. In my younger days, I thought I was going to go preach the word of Aethys. Just in our temple there. My parents encouraged it. I made so much trouble for them growing up, they used to say it'd be best if I got in good with the God of Redemption. Of course, us blowing him up probably didn't help my chances there. But if anybody'd forgive you for blowing him up, it'd be Aethys. What's on your mind? Let's keep moving. Uh, I think I'll actually just maybe do one character per episode, because that took almost 10 minutes to do. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so let's yeah. uh let's get moving into Kidnua. Eighteen hours? You fucking get eighteen hours to walk? God damn. I'm gonna run out of camping supplies. I just got my nice boosted rest bonus. Oh. Got it. This is nice. This is huge. What the fuck mm -hmm. are you? <laughs> Kana. Just off the side of the path into Kidnua stands an imposing figure. A tall, thick-set Amawa, cloud and worn armor, and peering out up at the outer walls of the keep. In his hand is a small piece of charcoal, and it works feverishly at taking notes on a small piece of scrap paper. 
More than once, he has to reach up to prevent his colorful cap from falling off his head as he gazes upward. That moldy brickwork must be fascinating. The man looks over at you, blinking in surprise. His face splits in a wide, very toothy grin, and he waves the parchment in greeting. It is. Well, not the wall itself, perhaps. The construction is very traditional. There are names scratched upon some of the bricks. Just there. Workers and masons, I expect. Carving a little immortality for themselves. It's a fine keep, Cad Noir. Two centuries to its name, and abandoned for nearly as long. But the truly interesting part is in there, and I haven't had much luck in reaching the keep itself. I hoped to find the master of this place, a man by the name of Meerwald, but it seems that he either holds his privacy most dear, or else has been devoured by his house guests. I came here looking for Meerwald as well. Oh, truly? Then perhaps we can help one another. The grounds are infested with all manner of beasts. I've never seen the like. I didn't want to risk it alone. But you seem capable. Together, I'm sure we could manage it. And then we can both ask our questions of Meerwald. I seek a great treasure, you see. Not gold or silver, but the Tanvi Oratoa. You might call it the Book of Virtues. It's a sacred text of the Rauatai, but we possess only a fragment of it. A year I've journeyed in search of the rest and I uncovered evidence that leads me to believe the original lies just there, beneath the keep. Why would this Tanvi Oratoa be here in the Deerwood? Oh, precisely. That is the very question, he laughs. It is a long and twisting tale, my friend, as all good chants should be. I can tell you more if you wish it in time. So he's a chanter, I guess? Uh, let's go meet Marowald then. Excellent. Lead on, my friend, and I will be at your heels. Ah, wait. Speaking of that, I ought to warn you first. Andra's teeth, I nearly forgot. I have, at times, been followed. It began in Adir, and in Examatal they attacked outright. I believe they do not wish for me to find what I am looking for. I say believe, but I have been told as much by one of my would-be assassins. <laughs> I pay them little mind. Humorless swords in long robes, but it's why I bought the sword, you see. And it's only fair that you should know. What are a few assassins between friends? <laughs> I'm glad you're not discouraged. Come then. Who knows what we will find inside? Okay. Holy shit. Kana. Okay, so he has got... A... Arquebus. So, super slow... Bullet boy. Is a six damage reduction bypass, which is pretty nice. And then he also has a fine S stock. Okay, what's his hat do? His turban. Gives him plus one intellect. That's pretty fucking good. Uh, let's get the character. So he's level four. Where did he come in at? So he came in at the lowest of my level four characters, unfortunately. He's a chanter. 16 might, 12 con, 9 dex, that's not good. 14 perception, 18 intelligence, 10 uh, resolve. Okay. So he gets an extra open set because he's an Amawa. Brisk recitation. Minus 10% freeze. Recitation time. And he gets plus 1 intellect. Okay, so he's got a bunch of spells. So what does ancient memory do? Grants ancient memory. Passive. Must be chanting and then in an AoE of six meters basically. Uh gets plus three point two endurance to everyone. And field triage. One per rest. Friendly attacker get plus twenty percent health over. Okay. That's not bad. Um where can I see his Oh. Apparently I can hit a stronghold. Oh, I can see his stuff here. Right click for details. March of the Kamoa. Speed instant phrases. At the sight of their comrades, their hearts grew bold. I don't know what this shit means. What the fuck? How do I? What is this? Field triage. Oh. Edit chance. Oh. Okay. Okay, so, so this is a March of the Kamoa. So these are the two things. At the sight of their comrades, and blessed was Wang Grid. So those are... These? No, those are these. So at the sight of their comrades, this is a first level phrase. So 
this gives plus 10 fortitude and plus 10 will. And then it will, I'm assuming, so this overlaps. So what is the linger? Oh, here we go. Chanters spend most of their time in combat speaking chants. Chants are arranged in strings of magical phrases that produce different effects. As one phrase ends, it effects will linger, overlapping with the effects of the next phrase. When a chant reaches the end of the final phrase, it will loop back to the beginning. Careful arrangement of phrases can produce a powerful sequence of passive effects. Okay, so basically you have a... He starts chanting this, and then it lingers while he starts chanting this. Okay, so you have this one, which gives plus 10 fortitude and plus 10 will. And these are the statement throws. Right? Yes. Okay. And then Blessed Was Wangrid gives 1.2 move speed and plus 10 reflex. And Come Come Soft Winds of Death is only on enemies. Okay. Nope. I want this. Oops. Here we go. This is pretty good. So this will just give... So he's going to start chanting these and it will give everyone plus 10 reflex, plus 10 fortitude, plus 10 will, and 1.2 movement speed. So then you can have... Boom. There we go. I guess you can just do that because then it'll go back to the start and linger. And this would be a minus 2.4 endurance per three seconds for enemies. Okay. So I can have... Looks like I can have four chance. So he's got a damaging one. Oh, you can... Can you name them? Oh. I'm going to name these two. Why doesn't... There we go. I wasn't letting me use the delete key. Uh, this is going to be buff saving throws, and this is going to be minus endurance enemies. Spell enemies. Okay. Uh, okay, and then he's got some spells. So he has all and hell here if crashed upon thy shield. So this is a foe AoE that does minus five DR for 16 seconds. Okay, so just reduces the DR of enemies. Oh, and so these require phrases to be chanted. So after three phrases, I can do this. I can do this. I can do all three. So you have to do the phrases three times, and then you can cast these spells. Holy shit, this one can just summon skeletons. That's pretty cool. This one. A thunderous explosion that stuns and shove enemies. So it's a faux AoE only. This guy's dope. And he's got the field triage. Is this? Oh, that's per rest per... Oh, so he gets one of these per rest. Healing of small amount of health on an ally. And health is your overall. So that's actually pretty good. Okay. Let's look at my grouping here. I'm going to put him here. I'm going to put Durance actually back there. Oh, there we go. Swap those two. There we go. Of course. Yeah? Okay. Let's explore the outside here. Eh. There we go. Uh, Quickly go and stealth quietly. mode. So we do the big sneak around the castle. So I'm guessing we get to keep this castle. Because when I hit, I hit P to what I thought could bring up like some sort of character menu, but it says I don't own a stronghold yet. This feels strongholdy to me. There's a whole ass building out here. Can we go in it? Nope. Uh, one shattered castle smells faintly of ale. Long spilled into the dirt. Okay. So that's that edge. Let's come down here. He might be able to come down that way. Uh, actually, let's make everyone run down here faster. What is this? Oh, that tells me how many phrases he's chanting. I'll see what I can find. That's pretty good. Can we make it through here? Oh, dope. Can we make it through here? Nope. Okay. Uh, might be able to come down. Nah, doesn't look like we can go down there at all. Okay, that's fine. Let's start, uh, let's go see what this whole castle's about. Uh, probably just go into the right. Old and dry with cobwebs in every crack. It reminds me of Woodica. Okay. Look at a little amphitheater thing here. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's a shadow. Have I fought shadows before? Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Just want to be able to hover over it. All right. Damage reduction. So I think I have fought them before if I know their damage reductions, right? 
Mage of Disease, Ground Hobble, Poison. There was another one in the back behind it. Let's go this way. Let's see what's up here. Oh, shit, dick. Okay. Get in there. This seems like this mm -hmm. is going to be bad. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to attack him. You guys can spell. Oh, come around. Oh, God. Oh, wait, no. I have fought these bitches before. God damn it. Okay. Uh, so you're currently chanting. Okay. Uh, shoot the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, no one's taking Matt. What is this? Current. He's stunned. Fuck, I need to get this shadow off me. Oh my god, he's taking some big damage. Oh dear Christ. Dear Christ on a stick. You cast any spells yet? You've only gone through two phrases. You need to do uh do this one. No, we gotta do this. Okay. Uh, see if you can blind. Fight him. Oh dear god, he's dead. Nope, that's not what I want. What is this? Nope, no, no, no. Oh, I, I don't have fucking fan of flames on this. God damn it. Yeah, it's fine. I'll do a big AoE. Alright, there. Oh, my god damn it. Do another projection. You can cast a spell now. Skeletons? Nope, 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 nope. Cast my skeletons. What? Go, skeletons, go. You're super low. Okay, uh, start shooting bitches. Oh, I completely forgot about this guy. Oh, oh, we're 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 I shot. Oof. Oh, the skeletons went away. I was hoping they would stay for longer. Yeah? Okay, so... Minus 15 fortitude and minus 8 damage. Following your lead. In our field triage. Huh? <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Huh? Margarine's fire. Good God, that was a tough fight. Dark places. What's this? Frayed lengths of rope and a few flint chips are scattered across the workbench. It's like I came around the corner. Oh, God, that's a willow wisp. Swap over to the crossbow. Huh? What the fuck was that? Oh, it's. <laughs> I thought it said 4,916 damage. It was because Aloth shot him as well as a Darian. Makes sense. Oh, wait. Did those guys drop any loot? I didn't see any. I thought I just fucking somehow did a... It's like a garden here. Only weeds grow in the dusty patch. Oh, there's like a... Oh, what the fuck is an earth blade? Let's fuck it up. Go! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna leave a Darian back here for now. Uh, all of you attack that. You just do an arcane assault. Okay. Uh, you can't knock that thing prone, I'm assuming. Uh, you attack the Will O Wisp. You attack the Will O Wisp. You. Beautiful. Pull out. Do this bad boy here. 
What the fuck is going on? Endurance, cast that. Uh, you've only got two phrases done. Okay, now. Fuck up that shadow. Alright, beautiful. Uh, do that. You. Do a big boy yell. You're on your third phrase. Summon those skeletons. Oh, skeletons, get on this bitch. Swap over to your. You. Swap over to your sword. Okay, uh, do a mass heal. Nice. Get to that. Fucking beautiful. Oh, I just get. I got a. Quickly and quiet. I got something. Where did it all go? Uh. This is an ingredient. This thing. A primal rock. Chiseled portion of rock slate. Gray and pocketed with gleaming minerals. When set on the ground, it floats a small distance above the earth. That's pretty neat. Okay, let me loot this guy. Another one. No oh, problem. I forgot about my cat. Okay, so before we clear the second half of this, I think I'm going to call this the end of the episode. Uh, so I will see you guys at the start of the next episode. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you like what you're seeing, it uh, helps me get discovered more and will help grow the channel, which would be super dope. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys at the start of the next episode.